Welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. We're at the tail end of the Garm facility, about to head into the elevator, which should take us up to the fourth floor, and the helipad should be super close. I believe Shikane should be waiting for us there. Shikane, come in. God damn it, Shikane, where are you? Jensen, you're alive. Shit. I've been trying to get a hold of you for hours, getting nothing but dead air. Listen, I found a place to set down. I'm coming in after you. Don't bother, I'm coming to you. Alex, I don't need that ride. I found my pilot. That's a relief. Let me know when you're back in Prague. Copy that. Damn, look at this view. That is so cool. Ready to get the hell out of here. Out in the streets tonight. They've all got itchy trigger fingers. Wonderful. Dr. Miller, come to meet me at the office. He'll be waiting for you. Of course, you'll likely be shot getting there. Watch yourself out there, Jensen. Alex, it's me. We need to meet. You got a location? Because the streets aren't safe tonight, man. Can you make it to the limb clinic, where we met before? Yeah, it's not far. I'll meet you there. Well, it's gonna be really damn hard to go anywhere now, huh? You can't go off the grid like that again. Not with me. It was an emergency. Maybe this will make up for it. Is this the Orchid? What's left of it? Marchenko admitted killing Rucker with it right before he dosed me, so be careful. Puta madre. Think you can get it analyzed? Yeah, we got a couple of scientists on the Collective's mailing list. Good. Something big is coming, Alex. Ark's being framed for a terrorist attack that hasn't occurred yet. They're gonna take more lives, blow up another train station? Jesus, Adam, look at it out there. Any chance we had of easing fears and fighting people's hatred will be gone. That piece of shit UN legislation will pass and we'll all be thrown into AUG-only hellholes like Udalek. Oh, Nathaniel Brown sits back and earns trillions. Brown? That slick suit from the Santo Corporation? Page said Brown was calling the shots. And in Switzerland, Marchenko said Brown had confirmed date and time. But where? Brown's been traveling extensively, promoting Rabia and his Safe Harbor initiative. His next junket's in London. But if he's behind this, he's not gonna attack himself. 
Maybe not. Marchenko also mentioned someone who can tell us. But I have to meet with Miller first. How soon can you get the sample analyzed? As fast as possible. If you're meeting with Miller, be careful. You walked into another ambush in Garm, and Miller's not off my suspect list yet. We'll see. <laughs> yep, everything's restricted. Except for it looks like some limited areas inside of buildings. Sort of. So our only quest is to go speak with the Miller, right? Oh, and I still have the Mystery Augs quest. I was worried that that would disappear once, because I said all side missions would disappear when you went to the Garm facility, but I guess it already came back. Okay, TF-29. It's not that far away. Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad, right? So I'm probably not going to want to take out every single police person in the entire city, right? So I probably should just actually sneak past them. Summers dot SOS. Shit. It's a point of interest. It's in the other district, right? Yeah. I guess K is in trouble. Um can I wait, can I get to the other district? I mean if nobody's allowed in the street, can I even take the metro? The metro is right here though. I guess I should try. Now it looks like the whole metro is all restricted. Hmm. I am tempted to just take him out though. Holy crap, the security. Turrets, lasers. Don't suppose there's a security computer? There is. Alright, let's turn this garbage off. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. I can't... Oh, I couldn't turn it off because it was glitching at the time. Hmm. Interesting. Wait. There we go. So does the tram still work? Oh, cool. Oh, no it doesn't, you just gotta walk the tunnels. really cool. Anomaly detected. Trace program access granted. security computer. Oh, 
might as well take him out, right? Yeah, at this point I am definitely glad that I got the ability to become invisible because this would be extremely hard without that. There's just too many people here. Okay, we gotta make it to the sewers. Let's just, uh, let's go for it. At least the sewers aren't restricted. Uh, little K is over that way. Wait, this is locked again? Wait a second. Oh, wait, no, this isn't the... I don't think this is the place where Kay was before. Remember that place a really long time ago where there was a bunch of drones and I ended up just reloading a save from before I went inside of it? Because I, like, killed a bunch of civilians or something? And I didn't know what to do to deal with the drones? I think this is that place. Yeah, it is. The drones aren't here anymore, though. This is not good. Irinka. I recognize you. <coughs> oh, this is Little K. Tall, dark, and augmented. Over here. <laughs> Tall, dark, and augmented. Yeah, Little K is the one that I saw writing the stories. So I guess non Little K, just pure K, that was the person I was speaking with before. Oh, I got the dirt on pikes for them. You always did want to travel. I recognize you. Welcome to the underground. I owe you an apology for hacking your info link. Don't sweat it. I'm assuming you had a good reason. Samizdat's usual channels are all bugged. I couldn't risk an audio communication being traced back here. You're little K, right? You don't sound local. I wrote some things that made me have to delocalize a long time ago. Been living story to story on a Schengen visa and a language implant ever since. Never expect a short story from a long form journalist. You want to know why I brought you here? The police raided Samstadt last night, cleared us out. We were broadcasting until they pulled the plug. Radios, flyers, mail bursts, the, the makeshift media van, getting the message out to our subscribers if they needed a refuge. As you can see, it went a little wider than we anticipated. What happened to Kay? Kay is me now, according to the Samizdat Manifesto. It's all very third wave socialist with a dash of martyr complex. Good to know. But I mean, what physically happened to him? Right. His name is Yarek. Yarek Drobny. He's being held by the police along with Bones. No contact, no bail, no rights. Plausible deniability. He must have known the risks. Well, he was open to the existence of risks. When you showed up, it should have been a wake-up call. But you were reasonable. The state? isn't reasonable. Let's go break him out. So are you running a resistance cell here or a campaign room? Why not both? Now Sammy's dad has a captive voter base we could run for the Senate. It's organized resistance then. Peaceful resistance. 
We're working together to get people under the cordon and out of Prague. It's a happy accident of a police state. Well, I say happy when everyone's repressed, they can see past their prejudices. Or they shift the blame. It's gonna take a long time for those prejudices to heal. As long as certain people can profit from keeping the wounds fresh? But you knew that already. This isn't what I call laying low. Aren't you afraid the police will find you again, finish what they started? They already got the cake. Bones, the backup servers, even the shitty coffee machine. Enough for them to call it a win and get back to indiscriminate brutality on the streets. Where were you when this happened? Right here. Running our little home away from home. Our sources tipped us off about the martial law. Either V could write about it and throw our hands up. Boy, I sure hope this massive rights violation doesn't end up being too awful this time. Or we could enact the readiness plan and really do something. Yeah, when we first met, I called you pamphleteers. I guess I should apologize. Oh no, V were pamphleteers. Now we're pamphleteers, jury rigging, an underground railroad. I'm pretty sure you didn't call me to put up posters. What's the deal? We've made a plan. We're getting people out of the city, starting first thing tomorrow. I want Yarek and Bones to go with them, but first we need to bust them out of jail. Tonight. And you think I'm the kind of guy who breaks into police stations? Are you telling me you're not? <laughs> you most certainly are that sort of person, Jensen. Fine, I'll get them out. They're being held in the temporary police station downtown? Yes. By the Monument Metro. Once you're clear, take them across the plaza to the United Cleaners. We've cached everything they need for a long road trip along the old NATO decommissioning zone. That's your escape route? Puts getting them past the state police into perspective. It works on paper. Uh, and uh, gives them these new identity documents. A lot of new identities. We found a very good forger. We're keeping her from a bright future in a Pika's newsroom. I recognize you. Oh. Too many people. They'll have to That's why Melina's here. Can we get back into the city? Melina, you didn't take my advice about giving up on forgery. I know, I know. But trouble is, I've got a talent for it. And it's a real growth market. As soon as you got me out of that thing with Drahomir, I had like 20 emails from Samizdat. Do you have any idea how difficult it is for art school graduates to find a specialist subject these days? The permits aren't enough for police anymore. Forged or real. In Prague, maybe. But it turns out I'm multilingual when it comes to falsifying border passes. Lucky, right? Never works, I'd say lucky. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Super Commando Man. Oh, don't mention it, Milena. <laughs> if there was an easier option, you think we wouldn't take it? I was less stressed out when I was working at gunpoint. We may not agree on your methods, but I'll let you get back to your work. Coming from you, that is like the gold star seal of approval. Is that a facial expression from Adam? Getting more and more difficult to hide. I just want to get home. I rank a bower. Thought we activated your permit. You did. Whatever you did, it was enough to fool them. You kept us out of Golem. We will never forget that. But now you're hiding again. Martial law has changed everything. They say it is to keep us off the streets, but it is worse than that. They go into our homes, accuse us of being people we are not. Permits do not matter anymore. How did you know to come here? Helena heard a message on the radio. It was warning people saying the city is not safe anymore. She saw the police go into someone's home. The man. He was showing them his permit, but the officer... He did not even look at it. He just... Helena could see that the warnings were true. That people like Irenka must have run away. So we start to go underground. We start to find others. When society wants to make things hard for someone, it eventually finds a way. 
I'm sorry it came to this, Arenka. Don't be. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have made it this far. We wouldn't have met all these people. Everyone is working together. Together we will find a way out of here. I hope so. Was that a second facial expression from Adam? Did they just smile for like a second? Okay, we're back in the other district. So Bones and Kay are being held inside of this police station. You know, I could take both of these people out. They're next to each other. I don't think anybody else would notice. Well, actually, the, yeah, over there they might notice, actually. They're coming back this way. So, yeah, we've already been to this place, so... I the remember. Revolution, man. We're just augmenting the men. It's still out there. It's on the street. It's over the airway. It's Is this how we get him out? <laughs> K is just never quiet. <laughs> Who are they even talking to? K, chill. Did that do it? You! I knew it, man! I knew you were one of them all along! Do I look like I'm one of them? I can feel my hands right now, but if I could run a search for shadowy extra-government agent on the net, pretty sure it's all you. Fair point. What happened? You pulled a Freedom of Information speech on the state police? Ha fucking ha! They didn't wait for a speech, man. Lesson learned. Smash the state before the state smashes your nose. Little Kay asked me to get you out. She's the Kay now, man. I'm a liability to Sammy's dad. She cares about you, Yarrick. She didn't want to leave you or Bones behind. Always was a cool cat, man. One of the good ones. She wrote the wheels come off 16 years ago and the conspiracies just keep checking out. Everything except the gray aliens, but... Who's to say that's not a metaphor? If she wrote the book... Ah, uh, 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 I don't believe in authorial intent. I warned you about picking a fight with Pikus. They've got a lot invested in protecting the message. Would I be talking to you now if Pikus had got to us? I mean, does Eliza Kassan have a sense of humor? All those bombs going off lately. What's one more in the sewers? A BTW? Those are all rhetorical questions. You don't say. But they're trying, man. Bones heard the cops talking about extraordinary rendition. What a wonderful connected world we live in. When they can pin an acronym on you, ARC, NSF, who gives a right sass? And ship you off to a black site on the UN's credits. Just how many states are you an enemy of? All the corporate ones. You told me you were a liability to Sam's dad. How do you figure that? Because the cops burn me, man. Exposure is death. They didn't have to ask a single question. Just took my DNA off their knuckles. My high school dropout date, my sister's parking tickets, my dark neck proxies. Oral cemetery. Oral cemetery? They didn't get a lot of mainstream airplay. Anyway, a little case shouldn't have sent you. Sammy's death has to be bigger than any man or woman. Sammy's death is bigger than you now, Yarrick. The resistance reached further than you planned for. You want to fall on your sword? There's a better place to do it than in a holding cell. Whoa, whoa! You know I use the term liability real broadly. I might have known you wouldn't keep your heads down during the riots. This is what a radical news source lives for, man! Lives and dies for! But the helmets on the streets, the extreme peacekeeping, that's not about the Golem riots. How are the Augs gonna get over here? Carpool? No. Someone, somewhere, wanted the cops to clean house in Prague. And this is just the beginning. What if they could call martial law anywhere, anytime? Cops without borders. That's your prediction, huh? 
You can take it to the bank, man. The Palisade Property Bank. There's a way out of Prague for you both. The Sam is that resistance has organized everything. We just need to keep our heads down and get to the cleaners nearby. The cleaners? Ha. <laughs> Irony. Wait, you mean going through the cops? It's bad out there right now. Keep your heads down and don't leave here until I tell you to. I'll be back. Okay, okay, I get it. Good. I'm gonna take another look outside. Yeah, we gotta clear the way. So we're going to the cleaners nearby. Where are the cleaners? Right over there. Okay, I think I do need to take these at least these two out. Everybody's doing all sorts of strange stuff. Please turn that alarm off before, before somebody comes. There. Go. Oh my god, such force. <laughs> They're upside down on the water cooler. Okay, is that enough? Um, I should see if there's... It, it looks like there's... Um, a turret over there, so I probably need to take care of that. Jesus. I feel like I really do throw them a lot further than I've got the uh, super strong augment. Um, hmm. I would need to find a security computer if I want to turn that off permanently. I think it's probably not a problem. Where's the front door to this place, though? Oh, I think it's... Oh, it's around the street. Like it's... Oh... Whoa. Okay, looks like they've let up for now. Who is that squirming on the ground? Are you just some citizen that's been arrested? Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, you're gonna have to stay there. Searching for like another second. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I think we can probably make it here. As long as we make sure we go down here really carefully. I think the biggest threats are out of the way at this point. Okay. Let's give this a shot. There's a police locker in the corner that should be stocked with uniforms. Find something that fits and try to look convincing. We need the cops to think you're one of them. Nice. Good. It's time to go. It's pretty damn convincing. I guess I guess I only need to worry about myself then. Okay. 
So the turret shouldn't shoot them. I still need to disable it to get past it myself, though. Okay, they're coming, slowly. <laughs> but they're coming. How may I serve you? Would you like some, um, bleach? I feel like I'm Long 20. Leave some of that. Oh, Edward. That piece done yet. Didn't even realize Edward was there. What were you saying? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. How in the heck is Edward here? Remember, Edward is one of the people, or they're the person that ran the mini market, and they're one of the two people that had a choice of either one or the other activating their permit from Melina, and I chose Irinka instead of Edward. And remember, after that, we went to the Utilite complex and we found Edward actually there, like they'd already been deported or whatever you'd call it. So you're telling me that they got deported to the Utilite complex? And then within like a day, they've made it back here and are in jail. Oh, what? How did that happen? My God, martial law, curfews, people being jailed for no reason. It reminds me of Warsaw 1982. Warsaw didn't have drones. <laughs> now what? Do you think we are safe here? You are for now. But you can't risk going back outside. There's a group organizing underground. They're doing everything they can to create a refuge to get people out. These men, they are part of this group? That's right. I know how much it meant to you to stay in Prague, Edward, but things aren't going to get any better. If there was ever a time to leave, this is it. If you wait here, case people will come for you. They'll do everything they can to help. I think I have no choice now. I will wait here. I will cooperate. Thank you. For everything you've done. Good luck, Edward. Yeah, I think this is just a straight up... Uh, I guess you call it a plot hole. I think this quest was... I cannot believe we made it. Well, I, like, I want to say that I think they maybe made a mistake and designed this quest as if you had chosen to save Edward instead of Irinka, but the thing is we saw Irinka here as well. So, I don't know. I don't think it's necessarily one or the other. I think maybe they just forgot that these characters were not necessarily supposed to be here. So that's the end of the quest, right? Oh no, meet Thomas Dot at the rendezvous. Oh, we're, wait. Do we just need to talk to him? Yes! Exit plans, man! Exit plans! Always be making them! We worked this contingency plan out when we started Sammy's death. Didn't think it would actually come to this, though. No one thought it would be like this. You're gonna need these documents where you're going, wherever that is. I hear Paris is the best place to have a revolutionary agenda these days. If you want to come along, you can be the muscle. Well, whatever your arms are made of, the stuff they use on space shuttles. No can do. I've got a previous engagement. I really can't mess. Right. With the cardboard box company. Watch yourself out there, Kay. Kay? Kay is Kazdi, man. Kay is everyone. You're part of it now. I'm the Kay now. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to make our way over to TF-29 to meet Miller.